Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. And honestly, this film hasn't gotten a whole lot of advertising, it really hasn't popped up a whole lot, and it kind of just like appeared last weekend and just kind of got dropped in the theaters and I enjoyed going to see it. This is a fine film. There's there's nothing truly remarkable or special about this film. And there's nothing inherently just bad about this film. It's a fun little film. And Kat Shea, who's a director of this film, tells a charming little story. And the story is a cliched. Yes, it is. Are there moments where it kind of just feels like a goofy Scooby-Doo kind of like little mystery and things get wrapped up really easy when there's like some heavy stakes? Yeah. And is it inherently silly at moments? Yeah. But the thing is, it has a lot of charm. And that's an important thing for this film to make. Because it's like an hour and 29 minute film. It's a little film, a little story. And the thing that really carries this film has to be Nancy Drew. And Sophia Lillis, who played Beverly in It, she is great. She has a great charm. She has a great personality. And she really brings something a little special to Nancy Drew and makes her a likable character and you want to go along with her. And the idea of honesty and justice that this film puts in the forefront I think is an important kind of thing that you want kids to be thinking about and also it deals with bullying and girl power and really putting that at the forefront and I think this is a good film. I think it could be a good film for kids and young um, young adults to see this film and get something out of it thematically and really say something. And the cast is a group of a lot of young actresses and they bring a lot of spunk and charm to this film and they're really what carry it. Because the thing is, is this story really unique? If you've seen any kind of Scooby-Doo or even like read any of Nancy Drew's or Hardy Boys books or anything like that, it's like, kind of know what's going to be coming. It's the villain of the week kind of thing and something weird's happening and Nancy Drew's going to figure it out. And if there's any doubt, it's not that kind of movie where you're going to expect something like crazy twists and dark turns and stuff like that. It's, it's a nice little sugary film. And it's a nice spoonful of sugar to, that's an easy film to sit through and enjoy just a little bit. And honestly, it's like, it doesn't feel super like it was like a made-for-TV kind of thing, which I was a little concerned with, like the cinematography and the te technical aspects. It does use some lighting and shadows and stuff like that, but there's nothing overly remarkable about it. It tries its best to not look like this was something just thrown together for TV. And you know what? It's a fine little film. If you want something to go to see with your family that's nice and easy and has some good messages along the way as well, go check out Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. And honestly, that's my kind of recommendation for this because if you're not into like this kind of thing and if you're somebody that is just like you're in there for action or dark turns and like really tense uh, moments and it's really not that. It's a nice little film and see it like that and if you want to see something like that go see this film. It's worth the time. Those are my thoughts. Comment let me know what you think and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.